confused, overwhelmed, stressed. Delve into the truth as we take on this world with eyes wide open. Join Vicki, Elle, Nikki, and Teresa, four women, four decades, here to discuss issues that affect you. Expect laughter, but we promise to be real and share God's truth as we let the video roll. Hello everyone, we are the With Eyes Wide Open ladies. We are so happy you are here with us. I'm Nikki. Teresa. Vicki. And Elle. And by the way, you are all very quiet for that introduction just now. Did you guys notice how quiet it was? And respectful yes. we yes, were we for were. Nikki. Yes, we were. Quiet. That's, we were. That's, That's true, funny. Teresa. Okay, I'll poke you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so we're going to, um, we want to focus. We want to bring you guys in yes. and know that this talk is about how when we're angry, we remain in the place of being a Christian. It's hard. We all get angry. Mm -hmm. We can all relate. So let's get into yeah. some of this. I want you to know that there is a little gift for you at the end of it. It's called a four by four. It's a free download mm -hmm. for you and it's cool. I it, love gifts. Yeah. It's got gifts. life application for <laughs> questions, for challenges. And so oh, Vicki's coughing. I'm okay. okay. I'm all right. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So does anyone, when you think of being angry, how do you, how do you? I just want to say yeah. though, I think that when Teresa said about at least we were all quiet, yeah, that was passive aggressive <laughs> anger that she was showing. Oh, that's the hardest to deal yes, with. Yes, passive aggressive. Passive aggressive. She was person. making the point in another video when she started out. We were all talking. <laughs> we were. We were. But okay, so you've got these challenges. We all do. We're angry. Mm -hmm. The idea is it that we can't be angry? Right. No. What's it mean to be angry? It's an emotion. It is an emotion, but I, I want to read something because I've got to do something on anger when I get back to okay. Michigan. But anger, one of the things is, is we often feel morally right, right? And we think the other person is wrong. We forget when the other person is angry, they feel like they're right. Yeah. So there's two strikes uh, against us. And usually what's happening, someone's changing a plan or blocking something that we want to do or something that we want to think. Lost control. Right. Yeah. And so we get angry uh, about that. Like so when my husband was calling as we were just getting ready to start the video, I may have been a You know, and that's impatient. a good point. It interferes with what you had, yeah. your agenda. Right. You lost yes. control. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's generally what Okay, we but do. we're talking about what we do in it. Right. As Christians, right. how do we be angry? Yeah. It's weird. You almost think that you're not a Christian if you're angry. Well, that's not true because it's emotion, right? right? It's what we yeah. do with it. And the Bible talks a lot about it, especially the book of James, mm -hmm. but throughout the Psalms, the Proverbs. So you were going to do a James one, right? Well, yes. but just a second. I want okay. to just, I would just want yes. to stop us because we said, you know, we shouldn't be angry because we know that Jesus was angry mm -hmm. when yeah. he went and threw the tables out in the, in the temple and because yeah. they were selling... Um, they're trying to make a profit off of the sacrifices that they were selling yeah, and yeah. so he upset all the tables right. so you know anger is it's okay it's, it's what an we emotion do with right it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so my a, verse is next then because it's it's we know this one it's ephesians 4 26 it's do not sin in the anger mm -hmm. don't let the sun go down while you are angry um both of these things i mm -hmm. think are just so huge yeah. and i it took me years i i, I struggled with my daughter who's so much like me until mm -hmm. literally mm -hmm. a day yeah. a day in my life when I called on God with all my heart to come help me mm -hmm. learn how to mm -hmm. not sin mm -hmm. in that anger and it mm -hmm. worked right and it strangely really giving it all up to God and calling on him now yeah. I can use that what I learned how to do that I can use it in a mm -hmm. lot of situations mm -hmm. yeah 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 in, yeah. in other yeah like self-control mm -hmm. or yeah mm -hmm. you're sad grieving mm -hmm. I mean it's it's learning how to 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 do that to yeah. not you know, sin well and you know to me sinning like what does that mean when you when you're angry like when do you know that you're sinning yeah, to me it's, about that. it's when um you've lost control mm -hmm. you know i've seen um have you ever seen anyone get angry and some of you i'm 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 so sorry you you may have seen someone get so angry that mm -hmm. you look it's at insane. them in their eyes yeah. mm -hmm. and they're not there anymore right. no because they have so mm -hmm. right and they've so let go mm -hmm. of any control right. and there's something else taking over and it just i mean yeah. it, it's a very scary thing mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i'm so sorry for for that mm -hmm. yeah um, that's happened to me once and mm -hmm. I know how scared I was and so mm -hmm. you know to me it's it's you know just allowing it just to boil up and just explode and, and rage mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. losing control mm -hmm. of what you say mm -hmm. of what you do mm -hmm. of how you treat other people mm -hmm. that's when it's it's right. that's sin and put yourself in their shoes if you have felt that before when somebody has treated you that way 
you've got to be able to turn that when you are in that moment of anger. There's a difference between being disappointed, like for example, disappointed in a behavior or a choice that your children have made. If you're teaching along with that disappointment to help them understand, mm -hmm. that's that's not sin. That's right. mm -hmm. that's teaching. That's, yeah. that's parenting. Mm -hmm. But when you are angry without that assistance to guide your children in this example. Then, but I love, yeah, mm -hmm. I love what you're saying because one of the things that they tell us is that what we haven't done well with our children is we tell them, well, don't be angry, be nice with one another, mm -hmm. rather than identifying the emotion and talking about the emotion and teaching them how to deal with their anger. Mm -hmm. And what's yeah. causing it? You know, let's yeah. get down to yeah. the root right. of it. Exactly. You know, you're, you're, there's something that's going on that's mm -hmm. causing this to mm -hmm. come out. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, to, mm -hmm. to, to know that if you're the one that's angry, to take a step back mm -hmm. and to get to a place that you can talk about it yeah. because mm -hmm. there is yeah. nothing that gets resolved right. in mm -hmm. the midst of an argument. Right. Nothing gets mm -hmm. resolved. Right. right and so we want to have I, I I love to operate in peace and to me anger has no place in peace mm -hmm. and so you know just to take a step back and then say you know we can talk about this mm -hmm. and to be open mm -hmm. if it's for someone else mm -hmm. to be open and listening for somebody else but also for you to take a step back yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I'm thinking of the second part of that verse where it's like you know don't go to bed mm -hmm. right. Right. when you're angry right. so it's not just like let's think about the stonewalling Right. Isn't doing any of these aggressive things, right. but stonewalling being where you just clam up. Nope, right. I'm not a part of it. I'm going to have nothing. And mm -hmm. all, you sever right. all relation. Mm -hmm. you, build, and, you build walls. Yep. Right. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, that that's what we need to remember is we don't, we don't go through mm -hmm. a night. We yeah. have to somehow resolve it, even if it's calling out in prayer because we don't know how to resolve it yet. Mm -hmm. But we just, we just don't. It's written that we don't yeah. do it. In, in my book, Undeterred, I, one of the chapters I write about is unforgiveness and, and my experience with it. Because I would have told you that I am not a person that gets angry easy. Mm -hmm. And when you get angry and stay angry, it often leads, usually leads, does lead to unforgiveness. And um, I had a situation that happened. It was really a bad situation. And I thought I was handling it well. And uh, it took like a, almost a year. But I would talk about it. And I would grit my teeth. Or I would say sharp mm -hmm. words, or mm -hmm. my husband would look at me, and all of a sudden God called me on it mm -hmm. that I was displaying anger rather than dealing with it, and that anger was leading to unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. And when I finally dealt with it, and it took me a while, it just doesn't mm -hmm. go away overnight. I just mm -hmm. have to keep giving it back to God, giving it back to God. But it was like a weight was lifted off yes. my shoulder. Yeah, I want anger that. and freedom. unforgiveness yeah. is like mm -hmm. it just weighs you down. Yeah, and there's to, usually hurt behind anger. Like yeah. if someone's yes. anger, that's right. Angry, there was hurt behind this. Yeah. Your heart's hurt. Yeah, and that's what you do. You just like maybe you're like, what do they say? Like mm -hmm. a. A, a cat or a bear backed mm -hmm, into a corner, mm -hmm. they start yeah, lashing right. out because they're hurt. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm trying to think of, you know, we're doing a lot of like telling you and right. I'm trying to bring myself back to like, is there any tools to help with this? So yeah. mm -hmm. there's something that um, it, I do in, when I'm coaching people and I can't get into it much, but I'll give you the concept and it's a self-awareness, again, a cognitive recognition kind of thing and it's called my old self and I reflect on the Bible verse, I wish I could come up with it right now, but where basically you put mm -hmm. on your new self Yep. So I want you to think about this and imagine that you say to yourself, you be aware enough that you know when you get in these times. So right. for me, it was when my defiant um, child was bucking me and my rules of our home mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to handle it mm -hmm. and I didn't have a teacher that taught me and a lot of us mm -hmm. are angry because we don't know mm -hmm. how to be different right, right? right but you're aware it's been so, modeled yep so the second mm -hmm. thing is then you sit there and you say but you know what I'm not prison to that mm -hmm. I am a child of God I can tap in and all that Trinity offers me and I can overcome this so you you first step is you be aware and go into it and so when it happens you recognize it early mm -hmm. before you sin you recognize it okay then you say I'm not I'm not doing this I'm calling on God and then you claim your new self mm -hmm. so your old self your new self I am a child of God yeah, and I good. am going to respond in patience mm -hmm. and love. Mm -hmm. I am going to call on God to help me. And yeah. it works. Yes, it does. Yeah. And you know, the recognition of it, I think of those emotions that come up, you can actually feel them yes. right. rising up. Right. And that's when you catch it. When it you're is. saying you catch it, you know, when you're aware, then you know, you know, when I start getting angry, mm -hmm. That's that's that feeling. Okay, then you're aware. Be, make yourself aware of it when it's happening. Yeah. Catch it early so you don't have to deal with the ramifications of what you you know that what you did in anger over a month's time, a year's time, having mm -hmm. to seek forgiveness. Catch it. That's, yep. that's a great and the tool, last, Nikki. That's awesome. The last thing of it is then acknowledge 
that he did it. Mm -hmm. So then don't don't go one minute without having that work for you and then not saying, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You did this. I called on you and you yeah. helped me do this because you're going to have increased faith and you're going to call on him next time. And pretty soon you'll be able to tap into that faster than yeah. you know. Yes. Can I yes. just say one practice. thing? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. If, if you read... Read First Peter. It's like three or four, four or five chapters. And uh, these Christians were under so much persecution, and it surprises you almost how Peter tells them they need to live this out. And it's not being angry. It's mm. caring and loving other people. We should behave just opposite of the world. Yes. We are counter-cultural. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We're out. We live in a different kingdom. Mm -hmm. yeah, 10, so, 26. Do you want one more thing? You can. No, if it's good okay. for them. No. Do they want it? We just bless you. Okay. <laughs> we do. We bless you in this place of not sending in your anger. So we're going to close now. I want you to think about a couple of things. We promised you we had something for you. So go to the bottom of this. There's going to be a link for a 4 mm -hmm. by 4 4 by 4 is just a fun, catchy way of us saying we've got an appl appliable lesson for you. It's it's pretty use it as a devotion <laughs> print it off and do it but then also subscribe mm -hmm. i want you to subscribe mm -hmm. to our youtube channel we have more of these coming and we have something fun yes. coming this spring mm -hmm. we are taking this to a new level and yeah. you're going to want to start following us because yep. you're going to be part of it you're yes. going to be on this yep. journey with us I'm going to give you a hint. Can I say a little bit? No. We're going to be on a journey, just a little. <laughs> a journey. A, a journey. A journey. A cross. Dot, dot, dot. A cross. Yeah. Heartbeat. A heartbeat. A heartbeat. Ooh, yes. We yeah, can give you that. Yeah. A journey. Heart, heart. You yeah. will feel the beat. A journey to the heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. You okay. You Ooh, want to know like more, that. right? Okay. Yeah. And then don't forget to like our videos, <laughs> comment on them, because we want to engage in you. Mm -hmm. We want to have a relationship. Right. We will yes. talk to you next time. Yes. Yes. What are we going to say with our Bible verse? From the Message Bible, Colossians 4, 2. Pray diligently, stay alert, with eyes wide open in gratitude. Join us as we step into truth and life with eyes wide open.